I think there are, I mean, two main reasons why study, studying economics would be a good idea for, for a student. I mean, the first is, is intellectual. Um, and so if, if, a student, if students are interested in, in, in thinking about social science problems or policy problems, then economics is just um, just has, is just a great discipline in which in which you can explore these further. Um, the second is is professional. So economics degrees are rewarded by by employers. I mean because that we the training economics is going to combine some uh, some some pretty rigorous quantitative training which employers appreciate more and more. Um, and on top of that, um, you are exposed to real world problems. Uh, in our in our courses, and so you you do stand out relative to say a student that has maybe more quantitative training from um, but uh, but less exposure to to thinking through real world problems. A lot of my um, recent research has been focused on public. Bureaucracies. So this was motivated by a law passed in Quebec a few years ago uh, that restricted the um, wearing of religious uh, symbols by by public sector employees. And so I, I mean, I, I, I disagreed with with the law, um, but I guess more importantly for my research, I, I disagreed with the reasons being brought forward for why such a law was needed. So I, I didn't end up working uh, yet on on. On the question of religious restricting religious expression by public employees, but then I, I, I did end up uh, working on papers in which um, I thought about the benefits and costs of restricting, for example, the political speech of public employees, which are there are there are, there are laws uh, in Canada and in other uh, in other um, countries that that restrict the nature the kinds of things that um, that. Public sector employees can can say about politics, uh, or uh, thinking about, for example, why is it that um, public employees typically have much stronger job protections than employees in the private sector, and how that's related to the the nature of the work that they do, which is to implement um, the decisions uh, made by elected uh, elected politicians. Uh, and so these are the kinds of issues you want to keep in mind in any kind of discussion about the reform to the to the public sector. I mean, you know, one of the funnest parts of my job is just talking to students that actually want to be in class uh, and that actually are interested in in, in learning um, what. What it is that uh, what it is that I'm that I'm teaching in class. So that's just you know students that um, that are that are interested that you know talk to you after class that come to office hours that just look interested while you're teaching. I mean even if you're teaching a class with a hundred hundred students in it, you'll remember um, those students that that seem to really want to be there um, and and. And they really stand out, uh, and so that's that's always great. I mean, other than that, maybe that's a pet peeve, but uh, I like students that don't start their emails with "Hey," um, and I like students that sign their names at the bottom of an email because sometimes from the um, from the U Waterloo address, you actually don't know what a person's name actually is, and so uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, so I play the banjo, so uh, anything that's old-time music um, from the U.S. or fiddle music from Quebec or fiddle music from, from, from Ireland or Scotland or England. So all, all these, anything related to that, I, I tend to really like. Um, I know that that is pretty eclectic, so I've trained the kids um, to request uh, that I play death metal when we're in the car together, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and and it, otherwise, I mean, what I like runs the gamut from from uh, electronic music to uh, to roots reggae and, and and yeah, a lot of things. Uh, so my kids are five and seven, and so they're growing, but um, but they still uh, demand a lot of time, and so if I you know, if in a day I get to play my banjo for a bit and, and read a bit, then that was a good day uh, leisure-wise. I mean, other than that, 
Uh, again, with the kids, we do a lot of hiking. So I guess uh, that would be that would be something else that I, I try to make uh, as much time for as I can. And then camping uh, in the summertime, also try to do as much of that as possible. My biggest piece of advice would be don't hesitate to come and talk to your uh, your professors in, in, in your economics courses. I mean, I, some students, I think, just don't don't come to office hours because they don't need to, they don't have questions to ask or things like this. I, I, I'm, I think that some students um, don't come, would like to come, but end up not coming because maybe they're intimidated or they think that the professors don't want to see them or something like this. And so that, you know, um, that is that is not the case, right? So, I mean, office hours are there. Um, office hours are there to help you. Um, we want students to come to office hours. I mean, I, I always had, I, I'm always a bit puzzled when a student asks me if they need to make an appointment to come to office hours. And I think that just that just goes to show that maybe they're they're not sure if they're welcome there, right? And so, of course, you know, office hours <laughs> office hours are are, are there. Um, their time that, that, that we put aside specifically to talk to you. And so that's, you know, we want you guys to come there.